What up world, this is Casual Chris. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to switch up your beat in the song. Uh, now this was a request from a man T. Uh, I'm not about to butcher your Instagram name, but this is something that he wanted to do. So take a look, this is one of my songs. Now if I wanted to switch up that kick pattern that beat right there really all i would be doing is just the easiest simple way my man is just to scroll that to the side just move this over and work in sections so now all the same sounds are still available but i could just switch it up how i do it so um you would go ahead and copy over what you actually want to keep. So hit the duplicate. So let's just keep the top pattern. This is just a do, 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 do. And then B is my kick. Let me turn this up because it's not that loud. So it's gonna have that pattern over here. So that's how I would do it in this program. I wouldn't do it any other way. I know you can go into your um, you can go into your scenes and do it this way. I wouldn't even waste my time um, trying to do it that way. Literally, all I would do is just scroll this right over. And this is pattern two. Um, I think you will you will get into trouble if you start um, if you start trying to oh shoot that's gonna no matter what trying to like double click in there um, I can't think of any other way that I would do this besides that literally it's just allowing myself to work in sections so say so this is an eight bar pattern say I didn't want that. I'll just delete it and do something else. Yeah, and so say if I like that, then you know, you have this pattern over here, which is your. So again, you're still using all the same sounds. You're still using all your same sounds in here, but you're just changing up how, you know, the cat, you know, changing up the sounds, changing up the pattern. So yeah, I hope that helped. This is how I do it. Um, if you wanna talk about my workflow and how I use this thing, I use it in eight bar or however, however many you want to count. I call them eight bar patterns. And then um, I create down. So this is my sample, it's A. I hit the plus, that'll give me a new sound. If I wanted a new sound, but I don't really want them. These are the, this is my drums. C is my um, 808, you probably won't even be able to hear that. D is a uh, hi-hats. So yeah, all I would be doing is just scrolling right over. I would be keeping anything that I wanted by hitting duplicate. Say if I wanted that drum, oops, undo. Say if I wanted that drum, there we go. Say if I wanted to take that drum out and you know new just try something else that's where i do it right there say i like this make sure it's on the one 
don't even know what that is. There you go. So, hope that helped you out with what you need to do to switch up your song, make it sound different, so it's not the same. Um, really, all you would be doing is sliding it over and uh, making a new pattern. I think you can actually... There should be a way before this. I know it's making me... There should be a way to make a new one without... But since you can't... Yeah, I don't think there's an actual way to double click in here and then, you know, click in a pattern. I think you'd have to start with this. But either way, you could also say if, um, say if you didn't want to play a pattern, say you wanted to click in. You would just hit duplicate, double click inside this pattern, grab, hit this button to, to grab all the notes and then just delete. There you go, you got an empty pattern. <laughs> so then you can go back in and if you want to click in, again, some producers click, this is how they make music, you know. You could do this too. That would be the three. So, you could do it that way too. So, yeah, it helps. That helps. Have a good one, y'all. And for anyone else out there who had a question about switching up the patterns on their beat or, you know, adding different, um, just making it sound different using the same instruments. Uh, you would just be dragging this right over and filling in a new pattern or double clicking this and hitting this button and deleting all the notes and starting fresh. So either way works for you, um, but it's pretty simple to do that. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, y'all.